I wanted to share why I'm taking methylene blue and then how to make it because I've kind of learned a lot since I started doing this. I started, let me tell you first why. So I started doing this because of the interviews I've been doing on the Cutting Edge Health Preventing Cognitive Decline podcast. I interviewed a man named Dr. Dan Goodenow. He's a biochemist. And he told me after analyzing my blood work that my family's problem with Alzheimer's was not due to the APOE4 gene, the Alzheimer's gene. He looked at my blood work and said, your mitochondria is barely functioning. He said, I think your mother and father may have had Alzheimer's because of a mitochondrial insufficiency. So I tucked that away. And then a couple weeks later, I interviewed Dr. Francisco Gonzalez Lima. Now he's a neuroscientist at the University of Texas, Austin. And he said that he has a way to help mitochondrial insufficiency. And that's by getting more oxygen up into the brain. And the way he found this out, he really camped out in Sun City, Arizona to look at the post-mortem brains of Alzheimer's patients and also people without Alzheimer's. And what he found was a deficiency of oxygen reaching the mitochondria through an enzyme, a special enzyme called cytochrome oxidase. And he says that nine out of 10 cases of Alzheimer's in his opinion are not caused by amyloid beta or you know some of those plaques that get into your brain. Instead, he thinks it's really caused by the lack of oxygen getting up there. And then he found a remedy for it. The remedy is methylene blue. And you may have heard of this before. It's what you use to dye blue jeans or something with aquariums. But the methylene blue he says we have to use is USP grade, which means it's pharmacological grade. It's good stuff. And we use a very small amount of it like a real small amount. And I started doing this and what I found was that my energy really picked up. Like day one, I had more energy. And the person who does post-production work for this podcast, Alan, so he started trying it after listening to the Gonzalez Lima interview. And he said his energy picked up as well. I think there's some efficacy to this and it's not expensive. And so I've been doing it and I think it is getting oxygen to my mitochondria through the cytochrome oxidase enzyme. So I wanted to share with you what I'm doing here. And that is, I decided to go with a company for my methylene blue called CZTL. And they're giving you a, a discount if you wanna use it, it's $10 off. I think you put in Jane 10 at checkout and you get this discount. So I decided to use this though, because it's USP grade, it's made in America, they send you a certificate that tells you its authenticity. And for me, that was important. If I'm gonna be taking it often, I wanna know this is the real deal and this is USP grade. That's why I went with this company. Um, but there are other ones that you can go with in India and I've heard really good things about them. So that may be something you might want to explore. What you do is you take 100 milliliters of filtered water, it's gotta be filtered, and I also have a little funnel to be able to pour it into my bottle afterwards. So you take the methylene blue and you add it to the water, stir it up. You need a spoon to really, you know, swish it around and watch this thing. It's really cool. It's, you'll notice I'm doing this outside. It is super messy. I did it in the house a couple times. Mm -mm, I kept spilling. It just seems to jump right out of the jar. Okay. See how that turns blue? What you're wanting to do, whoops, what you're wanting to do is, I'm gonna use this because I forgot to bring a spoon out. So you wanna stir it. Methylene blue works to put oxygen into your mitochondria because it's very low dose and that's all your body needs. And so you don't have to take very much of it. And you'll know that you're getting the right amount when you're your pee turns in the toilet. Everyone says it should turn blue. Well, it doesn't turn blue for me. It turns green because the blue of the methylene blue, once it is excreted, it oxidizes and that's what turns color. It's not blue in my body. It's only when it touches the oxygen that it turns blue. So you pee and you're peeing blue, but your pee's yellow. So blue and yellow make green. So the pee ends up being green. Now, what you want is a low level of this 
green pee in the toilet. And that's all you need, just this low level. When it goes away, it's time to take more methylene blue. So everybody's different in how they metabolize this. For me, it takes 36 hours. So I'm taking this like every two to three days because I just want a really low level in my body. And it's, you take it in the morning on an empty stomach. So, and I'm obviously doing it outside on an old stump, make sure you have paper towels. And then I just pour a little bit of it into this bottle. This for me is an old Quicksilver. Are you familiar with the company Quicksilver? This is one of their bottles. I've tried droppers. I've tried just using a teaspoon. I spill it all over. Okay. And then how much do you take? Okay, it's that easy, super easy. So I'm good. The stump doesn't care if it turns blue. All right. Then I just take and squirt this in my mouth. Now, how much to take? Well, to help you answer the how much do you take question, you should first talk with your healthcare practitioner to make sure this is right for you and at what dose. Everyone's different, so what I do might not work for you. But in CZTL's experience, super low doses of methylene blue work well, and increasing the quantity does not necessarily improve the outcome dramatically. Start low from 0.5 ml and work your way up to 3 ml if required. 0.5 ml is equal to 5 milligrams when 1 gram is mixed in 100 milliliters of water. This is what I showed you how to do. It is best to use the measuring dropper provided to get 0.5 ml. It has markings to accurately measure this. 0.5 ml is the lowermost mark on the provided pipette. Beyond 3 ml, which is a bit more than half a teaspoon, always take the advice and guidance of an expert. Since methylene blue has a short half-life in the body, I mentioned I take methylene blue in the morning because it gives me so much energy. But since methylene blue has a short half-life in the body, in some cases splitting the dosage to twice a day has shown to provide higher benefits than increasing dosage. And finally, to reduce blue tongue, suck on a vitamin C right after taking CZTL methylene blue. Now, the fun part, watch this. So you take this, and it turns your mouth blue, like really blue. But it doesn't last very long. I'm, and I haven't checked to see how long, but I think it's less than an hour, so. Now look at this. It's um, pretty amazing for a while, but it, it goes down and it, it fades away. So I hope you found this helpful. Just make sure you do it outside. Make sure you get USP grade. Um, if you want to take advantage of the discount at CZTL, you can. But I think the bottom line is powering your mitochondria and with more oxygen, and you'll feel it. And, oh, I, I mentioned it before, but make sure you take it in the morning because it gives you so much energy that I took it late in the day one time, and I found out that I, I just had too much energy late at night, and that wasn't real good. So hope this was helpful.